series. When the terms of a sequence are added, then we are dealing with a series. Sigma notation. The Greek letter sigma is used to indicate the sum of a sequence of numbers. In this section, we will learn how to use and interpret sigma notation, which is a very useful and convenient way of expressing the sum of a sequence. Example 1, sigma notation. The expression on the screen means the sum of all the terms from the first term to the fifth term of the sequence with the general term 2 times i minus 3 in brackets. There is usually a link between the variable under the sigma sign, i in this case, and the variable in the general term. In this example, i is called the index of summation. To expand the expression, we start by replacing i with 1 and increase by 1 each time until we reach the end value, which is 5 here. All the terms must then be added together. Evaluate the sum of all terms from i equal to 1 to 5 of 2i minus 3. This means we're summing up the first five terms as 2 times 1 minus 3 plus 2 times 2 minus 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 3 plus 2 times 4 minus 3 plus 2 times 5 minus 3 which equals negative 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, which is equal to 15. We say that the sum of the first five terms in this arithmetic sequence is equal to 15. This was an example of an arithmetic series. Number of terms to be added. Starting from i equals 1, and adding all the terms up to the fifth term, we can calculate that there are five terms in this series. In general defined n, the number of terms in this series, all we do is subtract the starting number from the n value and then add 1. Top minus bottom plus 1. So the number of terms to add in this sequence is 5. Let's work out the number of terms using another example. Given the sum of all terms from 2 to 10 of 2 times i minus 3, the number of terms will be 10 minus 2 plus 1 equals 9. This is an important trick to remember when dealing with sigma notation and needing to work out the number of terms in the series.